We're going to start off with our very first pitch. This is Veronika Ramanoskia of APS. She will be presenting the world's smartest and safest card. So please welcome Veronika Ramanoskia to the stage. Good morning, Tokyo. My name is Veronika. They call me Vera-chan here in Japan. I'm a sales director of APS. APS was established in April last year with headquarters in Luxembourg. And we are introducing the world's smartest and safest credit card. Let's have a look at the concerns that the bank have today. Well, first of all, this is us consumers. We are quite sophisticated. We want new products. We want it fast. We want value for our money. Then there are mobile payments that some bank, bank quite dislike. And then there is a, a big concern, which is security. And well, the cards that you have in your pockets today are very easy to hack. And well, I don't want you to go out paranoid, worried about your wallets. Uh, but there are a couple of reasons for that. The cards that we have today have the data openly displayed on the card. The chip on the card is always active, so it means it's accessible for hackers anytime. And there is no dynamic number change. So it is a problem. The card is very easy to hack. Now let's have a look at us consumers. Well, we have many cards in our wallets. There are many mobile payments to choose from. But when it comes to our money and our data, data we demand security as well. So at APS, we have built a solution that can be applied to any card from any bank, from any credit card. APS card is equipped with a screen with the AMV chip, with Bluetooth and NFC antenna, with the switch, and of course the display and the battery inside. So this, uh, this card provides profound security and prevents fraud attempts online or offline. And well, the banks like it very much, as well as us users. users. We continue to use the same infrastructure and the card has possibilities to have multi-card in it. So let's have a look at the quick uh, video clip of APS. Do you have a credit card? Do you know how much money has been stolen from it? It's 40 billion US dollars worldwide. Your credit or debit card can be stolen, lost, skimming, data pickpocketing, hacking and online payment. How can I protect my credit card? Don't worry. Finally, now there is APS card. This card is the evolution of the current cards. In a sleeping safe mode during all the day, nobody can steal information from it. You need to pay somewhere? Activate it through the button. Give a confirm on your smartphone and it's ready to go. Feel safe to pay online. The CVC code changes every time you use it. This is the only card to protect you from the frauds. Go and ask your bank to change to APS card. So what you've seen in the video, every time you want, you want to make a payment, whether online or offline, you need to switch on the card. The card is searching for the phone to authenticate. Then all the card holder information is displayed with a possibility to have a dynamic CVC. Card, is, in card holder information is dis displayed. You're ready to pay online or offline. And well, some of you might say, well, yeah, but what about mobile payments? Well, for us, well, they have absolutely the right to exist, but for our product, this is not a threat. And, well, I can explain you why. If you look closely at the statistics, you see that only a, a tiny fraction of the percentage uh, are there in-store sales that are actually made with the phone. Uh, and this is the data for US and outside of the world is even, even less than that. So the infrastructure is very poor. You go to one shop, they accept this mobile payment. You go to another, they don't accept anything. So you end up actually carrying your wallet with your cards in it. So the cards are not disappearing. Uh, so each year there are actually 2 billion cards that are being made. I'm sorry for the layout. We had the problems with the computer yesterday. But each year there are 2 billion cards are made. And the cards, and this number is getting, is, is rising. And the cards are getting smarter. There are display, there are new features and new possibilities that we give to the users. But there is a concern, the security is an issue. You saw there are so many fraud losses, and well, one of the top countries that suffered the most is the Mexico, Brazil, and US. So security remains 
an issue today. And APS card is targeting exactly this, this problem. Uh, well, what are solutions are there today? Uh, there is a plastic cards that we have now, there is a mobile payments, and there are other solutions with a display card. And among all of this uh, existing solution, APS card prevails. And there are two reasons for this. Well, first of all, we have a different business model, unlike other display solutions that were there uh, before. Uh, so we have B2B model, meaning we don't sell the card to us and users, we sell it to banks, banks or manufacturers. Uh, and number two is our price, the technology that we offer to banks at our price. We sell this card for only 17 US dollars. And for some of you who are in the business will understand that this is a very good price. To give you a little bit about the idea where we are uh, today, we, so the product is ready and we are launching with three uh, major uh, banks in Luxembourg, European banks, uh, and here in Japan with DNP. Uh, we're gonna be ready to mass produce in summer this year. And we are also establishing a good partnership network uh, worldwide. Well, this is the team of export, the, actually the management team uh, in Luxembourg. Uh, all of us entrepreneurs with the right background. So uh, today, APS card is the safe and smart uh, credit card. But tomorrow, this card, this technology can be applied to any card. It can be ID card, it can be company card, transport card. So I'm sure you have a lot of questions. So please come talk to us. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu.